In this video, I'll show you why you should use state machines for the player in your game and how to implement them quickly. I'm Ansimus, and I'm currently developing a 2D adventure game. I have state machines implemented for the character in my own game. The advantages are as follows. Avoid errors. The character will only perform one action at a time. For example, if the character is jumping, they won't be able to perform another action that isn't related to jumping. Cleaner and more readable code. There will be no need to create numerous conditionals and Boolean variables to check the current state of the character. Now, I'll show you the best and fastest way to implement it. The first thing we need is a state machine class. Fortunately, the folks at GD Quest have done a great job creating one that I've been using for a while, and it works for Godot 4. We'll put this script on a node within our character. Next, we need a state class. This will be used to create all the states we need. Simply create a node within the state machine node and create a new script extending the state class. Each state has the following internal functions. Handle input, used for when keys are pressed or there is mouse input. Update, this is essentially the main process. All code runs continuously here until we change the state. Enter. This runs immediately and only once when entering this state. Exit. This runs immediately and only once when exiting this state. It's very useful for resetting variables. Here is the idle state for the character. Upon entering, we run the idle animation and only apply gravity. To exit the state, we use the transition function and pass the name of the next state as a parameter. Here we see the run state and the other functions. As you can see, it's very easy to use. If you want to learn more, I'll leave links to GDQuest where you can read in detail how it works. You can also download the demo with the example code. You just need to join my Patreon where you'll find graphic assets, music, and more resources to help you. That's all for now. Many thanks to my supporters on Patreon.